Well, welcome everybody to the show. It's great to be here today. And I'd like to thank Innsberg for uh, inviting Smithfield and having me come and prepare some food. Today we're going to focus on utilizing ingredients in different ways that you normally would not think of using them. We're going to feature pepperoni, number one uh, garnish, number one uh, protein used in the pizza industry, but we're not going to make pizza with it. We're going to serve it with pasta, and we're going to feature asabuco, the famous KC Wild Wings, which Smithfield Farmland invented 30 years ago. And we're going to feature them today in a recipe using a classic European uh, sauce, marsala. So today, pepperoni alfredo and mini asabuco marsala. First thing you want to do is you want to get some heat underneath your pans. And I'm going to prepare two recipes at once. So I got the pans warming up. I made a recipe ahead of time. I did our famous KC wings, the original four ounce. And we're promoting sweet and savory. We have a sweet and savory promotion for June, July, and August. And the idea is to take proteins and use them in a sweet application as well as savory. So I did buffalo KC wings with waffles, similar to chicken and waffles, with hot sauce and syrup. And um, it's absolutely delicious. This is easy. You can fry or bake these, toss them in the sauce, add your garnish, serve it with a waffle, and then I finish with a little extra sauce and a little extra syrup. The sweetness of the maple syrup goes really well with the uh, hot sauce. They, they give you that classic sweet and savory. So my pans are getting nice and warm here. So we'll begin with the asabuco recipe. Very simple recipe, a little bit of olive oil. I like extra virgin. Coat the bottom of the pan. A little bit of onion. I'm sorry, this is the pepperoni side. We're gonna start with onion on that and we're gonna start with onion over here on the asabuco side. Both of them get onion. Onion is a really versatile ingredient, goes well with everything. On the asabuco side, we're also going to add a little bit of carrot, which I diced ahead of time, and a little bit of celery. And when we add these three ingredients together, we've got the classic mirepoix. And give that a toss and let that cook. Over here, we're letting the onion cook. While that's cooking, I'm going to take a little bit of garlic, cut the end off of the garlic and it won't taste bitter and it won't give you that aftertaste. That's the trick with fresh garlic. If you peel it and keep it ahead of time, cut those little ends off, no problemo. And then I just, a little slice. I'm going to use two small cloves of garlic for each. I like garlic in my house. Maybe one and a half. This, these were big, uh, big cloves. And I can hear my food speaking to me. We use all our senses. We use our ears just as well as our eyes and our nose. And the reason is, is you want to hear that sizzling. That means the vegetables are cooking. We'll add just a little bit of garlic there. One of the things about margarita pepperoni that makes it so good is fresh garlic. We're the, one of the last companies that still manufactures with fresh garlic and fresh herbs in our production. Most companies today use a dehydrated, and it's not bad, but it's just not as good. And now we're tossing our mirepoix for the asabuco, and we're tossing our onions for the alfredo. And here is the mini asabuco, the two ounce KC Wild Wings. You'll see we have pictures here with different applications. We did a wing and waffle, we did a, a wing Mediterranean, we did an Asian sweet chili wing. 
really delicious. Over here, you'll see the classic pizza applications, but when we're done, you're gonna be amazed at what you can do with pepperoni other than on pizza. So now, for the uh, pepperoni alfredo, we're gonna take some green bell pepper, a little julienne, and then after we julienne, a little quick dice, and we're doing a piece of red bell and a piece of green bell pepper. And the vegetables you add are really optional. These are the ones that I like to use in my restaurant. I first came up with this recipe back in 1993. And it became a bestseller. We won Restaurant of the Year in 1994 in the Atlantic City Press. And that's cooking beautiful. This is starting to caramelize. The uh, onions are nice and brown. The carrots picking up some nice color. Celery's getting nice and soft. That's beautiful. Next, we'll place our pieces of the mini asabuco. You can hear that sizzling and browning, and that's beautiful. Over here with the Alfredo, that's coming along nicely. At this point, I like to add in my pasta, and I'm gonna put a nice handful of pasta here. I blanched, I cooked off some very al dente rigatoni earlier. Enough to fill the plate here. And then there are times where I do like a little bit of the dry spice. I like the McCormick spices. A little bit of the Italian seasoning and this we're gonna use in both dishes. And then we're gonna do a little bit of salt. And you don't need a lot. A little bit of pepper. And we're doing a la menu cookery, which means cook to order. And then I'm gonna spice up the pepperoni alfredo a little and add a little hot sauce. And then what I like to do is I like to add a little butter, which will make it nice and creamy. The butter adds a lot of flavor. Same thing with the asobuco. I have Julia Child's cookbook at home. She loved butter. So now, we'll turn the wings over. And they're brown on one side. Look at that, came out beautiful. Really, really nice, exactly what I'm looking for. Now these are already cooked. When they come in, they come in two five pound bags. All of our KC wings come in ready to go. And this is come along nicely. It's a very easy dish. Now we're gonna do a mock Alfredo today. And a mock Alfredo is, it's not exactly a classic Italian Alfredo. It's an Americanized version, but you'll understand why I do it. It adds another layer of flair, flavor. So we're gonna add a little bit of um, chicken stock. And then we're going to add in a little heavy cream, and that's going to reduce. And then while we're doing that, this here, I have a little bit of fresh parsley that I've already cleaned and taken the stems out. And we're building layers of flavor. The beauty part of both these dishes is they're very easy. And with the asabuco dish, the KC wings, they are from the ham shank. 
And what we've done is we've taken the hours of cooking time out. You could use this in bulk in mass production. You can use this in alamanu cooking like I'm doing right here. A little bit of parsley there. I love that flavor. A little bit of parsley here. And then, we have some fresh basil. Basil's already made sure it was clean, nice, ready to go. A little chiffon out of the basil. Just some thin slices. And then the beauty part of that is now, we add in our cheese. And that'll start melting in. A couple of tablespoons of beautiful Reggiano Parmigiano. And you could see that's really coming together. Very simple dish. Classic in many ways, but yet reinvented. And then while that's coming together and it's tightening up, now we add the pepperoni. Now most people think of pepperoni on crudités, of course on pizza, it's the number one ingredient. So we'll just separate, you can use the stick pepperoni, you could use the slicing sandwich pepperoni, you cut it and julienne it, and then dice it. I like to add the pizza pep. This is our classic margarita, very old recipe, number one in the country, fresh garlic, fresh herbs. All right, and we toss that in. Try not to make a mess. <laughs> And that's coming along beautiful here. That's got about another minute. Over here, this is coming along really good. These are browned. They're warmed up. Beautiful, beautiful asabuco. Now we deglaze with the marsala wine. A little bit of beef stock. We have some, you could use a demi-glaze or a beef gravy, whatever you have. A couple of tablespoons of that. That'll help give it an extra layer of flavor, richness, and help it thicken up. Let that cook down. Over here, we're going to plate this up in a second. So here is some greens that I made earlier. We're going to put the greens on the plate. People love greens. That's a classic broccoli rob. And now we're gonna plate up our pepperoni alfredo. Look at this. And you can taste this at the booth, at the Smithfield booth. After we've plated that up, we're gonna take a couple of fresh basil leaves, put a little garnish, and there is your pepperoni alfredo. Now for the marsala, asabuco marsala. We're gonna tidy up a second here, that is still cleaning up. We clean as we go. This is coming along really nice. Now, I'm gonna take, we're gonna take this beautiful pieces of meat. I blanched off and made some beautiful fresh asparagus, some roasted potatoes. Nice compliment to our asabuco. We're gonna put these two ounce portions right on the plate. We make a 24 ounce portion. We make the classic four ounce wings. We have the new big wing, which is in stock. You'll see it uh, right there on the center poster. And I have some pictures over here. The uh, big wing is 16 ounces, ready to go. But we wanted to show you the uh, minis today. They don't get, any, uh, they don't get en enough love. And then, 
And this rich sauce, thanks to that demi, thanks to that fresh mirepoix, it's coming along beautifully. And now we'll finish that. We'll, lay it, we'll uh, spoon on, that's really come along really, really beautiful. And one thing I forgot to do over there, and I'm not gonna forget to do it here, is we always taste, in case we have to adjust seasoning. I usually don't have to adjust seasoning, but just in case, it's good to taste. Once again, I don't have to adjust. So now we're gonna take that uh, beautiful sauce with those beautiful root vegetables. Turn that off. We always wipe our rim, make our rim nice. This dish we're gonna garnish with a little bit of fresh parsley. Right with our potato. And here we go, mini asabuco marsala. We cut down the cooking time by offering the asabuco already cooked and we allow you to take classic recipes or new recipes and reinvent and do some new creative things, make your life a lot easier, a lot easier on your labor too. Allows your chefs and your cooks to be creative without too much fuss. Thank you all very much and I hope you enjoy the next presenter. He's gonna do a great job. I used uh, the next presenter's products today from Campbell's. He's a buddy of mine. So we'll look forward to the next chef. Thank you folks.